Oh, right, Elden Ring. So I think now, after playing the game for 141 hours, it's a good time for me to make a review. And honestly, the game is good. How good? Well, put it this way. Since the dawn of time, well, since the dawn of my time, I have only ever played two games that I would say have pushed the bar all the way to the pinnacle of video game mastery. The Witcher 3 and Dark Souls 3. Now, let me explain to you what Elden Ring has done to the bar that these games have set so high. It hasn't just vaulted over the bar. It hasn't just high jumped over the bar. It has entered a SpaceX rocket, launched itself out of the atmosphere and landed on the moon. Seriously though, the game is phenomenal, exquisite, masterful. It takes all the incredible aspects of From Software's a lineage of video games and beautifully bakes them all together taking the edge of Dark Souls combat and blending it with the free-flowing aspects of Sekiro's movement. You can jump. I mean, that in itself is mwah. Your now more vertical playing style gives you so many more options when it comes to tackling bosses and groups of enemies, using the landscape to your advantage, allowing you to more carefully plan your attacks. The addition of the horse is a game changer again, giving you more options in terms of playing styles, how aggressive or passive you want to be in a fight, can be completely determined by you. When I first heard that the game was going to be Open World, I reclined slightly in my chair and prayed to Gwyn that FromSoft hadn't bitten off more than they could chew. I thought the non-linear semi-open world style of Souls games was so perfectly balanced, offering you that freedom to explore and uncover new things, but also equipped with the restrictions to allow you to progress at a decent rate. Bosses presenting themselves at opportune moments for you to test your might but also a chance to gauge just how far you've come as well. Don't get me wrong, the occasional curveball allowing you to fight Dancer within the first two hours of the game offers a perfect analogy within itself to let you know the sheer damning terrors of the world you're in. However, that was always a good staple point for me. Bash your face against the boss at soul level 15 for three hours, and then come back at soul level 75 and see and feel your progression. Putting all that into perspective though, I couldn't have been more wrong about the open world of Elden Ring. There is challenge, adventure and progression around every corner, in every cave and catacomb. The game still keeps that progression curve the same way the other Souls games did. What? What? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Moving from Limgrave to Lurinir isn't just opening up another part of the map, but it offers a whole new type of challenge. Different enemies constantly making you adapt your play. The bosses. Holy shit, the bosses. Radar, Godfrey, Aura, Radagon, Paladusax, Astol, Morg, Malaketh, Rykard, the design, the pacing, the music, each mechanic testing you as a player, pushing you further each time. You can literally see the progression from game to game that From Software have put out, how much more delicately they craft each and every boss in their games, how much more perfectly they produce their worlds. Something I've noticed in Elden Ring is how the game encourages you to experiment and test with new weapons and styles. Usually in Souls games, you get your weapon, upgrade it, and stick with it for the long haul. However, I found myself putting equal amounts of points into Faith as I did Strength, so that I could hurl a flurry of rocks at some poor sod's face before pelting him with a greatsword. From soft testing you with each boss, making different weapons more viable for the battle ahead. From a purely gameplay point of view, this is great. Each and every build and playthrough feeling completely different to the last. All of this is merely scratching the surface. The beautifully produced world is coated in refreshing and consistent gameplay. After exploring all of Limgrave for 20 hours, you find this well that takes you to this entire underground ecosystem. Flowing rivers and waterfalls, green hills, enemies with bows that can snipe you from 8 million miles away. And one of the most visually and auditory pleasing bosses in the entire game. The game offers you so much more when you aren't expecting anything else. This is why this game is so incredible. You're met with something new and fantastic every time you explore. By the time you reach Landil, that area hits you with 10 fucking bosses. Albeit some are minor field bosses, but the game pushes your expectations constantly and absolutely knocks it out of the park each and every time. I just want to take a quick last look at the gameplay before I wind down this review. The game feels and plays like Dark Souls, but you can see where From Software have added in elements from their previous titles. As I said before, the movement is more fluid and versatile. The manoeuvrability you have with the horse opens up the massive world, 
making sure that progression doesn't feel slow and ruins the pace of the game. Random encounters with patrols offering loot, dragon battles, exploring the world doesn't just feel like you're riding around taking off bosses from the checklist. It feels refreshing to, in my opinion, the already perfected Dark Souls formula. The open world feels alive. It changes as you play, making for a truly dynamic playing experience. I've talked about progression a lot in this video. I've talked about progression from you as a player, the world, and most importantly I think, but the progression of From Software. In some way or another they have constantly progressed their games, in the same way Valve progressed the single player VR experience with Half-Life Alyx. They have built on elements from all their previous games and constructed into what we have in the form of Elden Ring. Dark Souls was revolutionary, Dark Souls 2 was experimental, and Dark Souls 3 was groundbreaking. And if Dark Souls 3 was groundbreaking, then Elden Ring is earth shattering. I've heard it coined a few times now that Elden Ring is FromSoft's forever game, and I think that is a great way to put it.